Hello, and welcome back to Life in Every Season. I'm solo this weekend. My wife went to visit her mom. She's 93, and she's about 250 miles away. And we do like to go as often as we can. It's amazing. She's still living on her own, and she is a great mother-in-law. I'd like to give you a few updates on the house while Kelly's gone. We'll start outside with the vinyl siding is finished. I just got uh, completed washing it. Yeah, new siding and I'm washing it because we had the vinyl delivered in March, I believe. They're in cardboard boxes. You can't keep them inside. We don't have room, so we put them outside because the vinyl is going to be outside anyway. But the cardboard does deteriorate. It was composting. So got that cleaned up. They started the stonework on the outside. And then I have what this video was really getting to is an unboxing of something that came yesterday. Follow me outside. Okay, this is the front of our house. It's got a small porch inset about three or four feet. We were trying to pick a color to go with the metal green roof. That was almost new. So it was one of the things that we didn't replace. We put all new windows and doors. As we said before, I re-insulated. We took it down inside to the bare studs. Yeah, we still have ladders and things on the front porch, but it's turning out nice. Go around the side, and you can see it's like our south, our southwest exposure. And that's the reason we had all these trees taken down back on Labor Day weekend. But we're doing a little prep work on the wall. We are digging out so we can put some stone against it. Do you want a scratch coat of type S mortar? And then this is the rock work, tile work, looks like rock goes on like tile, but that is what that looks like. There we go again. And the uh, pallets full of the rock work is staged in the backyard and again it is just like the boxes for the vinyl they're sitting outside they're starting to come apart and everything inside is getting kind of slimy I'll give you a better look there's what it looks like finished we think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, I've been snapping pictures and sending them to Kelly since she's gone. And I thought, look, looks really good. It's the original soffit, cleaned up nice. I'll uh, show you that video now, and then we'll go inside for the unboxing. This is how I've always washed the house. Brush. A little Clorox and some dish soap. I need the work on my shoulders and never owned a pressure washer. I was always leery of a pressure washer because the pressure, the high pressure it can come out with, it can get into places that you know, doing hand brushing and then just sprinkling with a garden hose to rinse it off. You know, won't push it behind the vinyl siding or in crevices and cracks that it shouldn't go. I'm moving a lot faster in this video than I remember. And where'd all my hair go? No videos of it, but I used to have a ponytail. 
that was years ago. Okay, this is just me spraying off. I just kind of lightly hit it, trying not to douse it, but just enough to get the dirt and bleach off. Like I mentioned earlier, Kelly and I are still working full time. We work from home three days a week and go to the office twice. So we started thinking about what do we do if the power goes out? We would like to have a few lights. We'd like to run a home office and if possible, run our chest freezer. Um, we thought if we had a chest freezer, we could freeze ice and then we've got a nice cooler which the, could then be used more like a refrigerator. Of course, if it's winter time outside, we don't have that problem. Um, our backup heat will be the wood stove. The chimney pipe's not installed yet. This is a good spot, I thought, to video this. So while I was washing the vinyl yesterday, UPS tr truck shows up with a box from Blue Yeti. And we've been doing some research uh, on and off for quite a few months. And we decided to go with the EB70S after uh, Blue Yeti had a 24 hour flash sale. And it was, uh, we went ahead and pulled the trigger, got a 200 watt solar panel, which should charge this in four to five hours. So we go ahead, I have already unboxed this and charged it, but I will show you how it's delivered. These things are boxed really well. One, I was able to get it all back together to do this video. Here's your charging options, which I'll show you in a minute. The cords is what I meant to say. This is what I meant about the packing. I think you can see that. Nice foam all the way around. And then power station. And it's not terribly heavy, it's, it's portable. Um, you may need to use two hands, but it is definitely a decent size. I'll show you what else comes. You get an owner's manual and a warranty card to register the product. This is cigarette lighter option to charge, which if you use your car, it takes forever, I understand. This is the solar charging cable. I believe these are called um, the connectors to the solar panel or MC4, which is very universal. And we're looking forward, that hasn't been delivered yet, but we'll be here hopefully Monday. And this is your, this is your wall outlet charger. So this plugs in here, this goes into your standard wall outlet, and you can charge it that way too, which is what I did to top it off. There are a couple of items that I wanted to show um, folks who may have questions about these, and I have them myself. I get closer, hopefully I'm even in frame. But I was concerned about plugging in three-pronged adapters, they go in the top two. This is an, is an oblong hole, but you can see a drop cord goes right in, either one of the sides, but the bottom's just for a two-prong. So I thought that was important. And the other thing I wanted to do was hook it up to my home office and see how much juice I'm pulling. Okay. I've got my home office turned on. It's pulling 45 to 50 watts. So that's quite a few hours. Let's see, 800 watt battery capacity divided by 50, 16 hours. I'm doing the math right. So let me show you, I'm running a laptop and I don't know if it's charging. I've got uh, external monitor 
the keyboard and the mouse are wireless and I'm running the router and Wi-Fi. Now I tried to run my brother printer and it is a toner, black, just a black toner printer. It will not run. It's, I didn't realize that thing pulled that much juice. So in a home situation, we could have internet, computer, but we couldn't print. And let's see, wake this thing up. Yep, 47 watts. So that was one question answered. Okay, we're back in the mudroom, which we showed you last week. This is our five cubic foot chest freezer, Hisense from Lowe's. And I turned it on max just so we could watch it run. It's pulling 67 watts. So it's gonna cycle and not run continuously. Like continuously, yep, back and spit it out. Sorry, I'm a little tired. But this would run, let's say it ran half the time. It, it's going to run us close to a full day. If we have a good day with the solar panels, we could get by a while. Um, this, other than printing, that went to sleep, display went to sleep again. 66. And yeah, there's our Mr. Cool unit. We'll show the uh, install of those. Those are uh, DIY mini splits heat pumps. We've got two of them. We'll get into that later, but that's pretty cool. We are going to be happy with being able to run our chest freezer in case of an emergency and not listen to a stinking generator. Let me turn this around. Okay, I think I got that adjusted right. Boy, it's a lot easier when someone else is filming, especially with the gimbal. <laughs> so, again, thank you for dropping by our channel, Life in Every Season. And we picked that name because we are toward the end of our lives and we hope we have life in this season. We're setting up this house for our retirement and we've had parents live into their 90s we're almost into our 60s so we're fixing this thing so hopefully there'll be very little to do to it over the next 30 years so that's why all the renovations and oh we the other reason we got this is we had there was a derecho which is a big inland windstorm that went through ohio and west virginia the pictures that are on the beginning of this a lot of those pictures are from that farm we did there and we were out power with this big windstorm it looked like a in a hurricane just a huge mass on the radar and the winds just knocked trees down knocked power lines down we were without power nine or ten days and i heard a generator run in my back porch and it does get annoying i don't care if you have a quote a quiet one when it's it generating at full capacity they are still noisy and they go through a lot of gasoline so that's all i got to blue yeti well Talk to you later. Hope y'all are having a great weekend and thanks again for stopping by.